early fall freezes happen in our area and our trees have done fine. Uh, in fact, in, in November of 2014, we had a, a historic freeze, you know, one, once every 50 years sort of freeze happened here in our area, where we went from low temperatures in the mid to low 40s to just a few days later, here at my house, we were minus four Fahrenheit. So we went from 43 degrees Fahrenheit as our low, we had no frost at all no freezing temperatures at all for those trees to acclimate till we were at minus four. And there was a substantial impact of that freeze in the orchard area um, here locally in the Dalles. There were many, many dozens of acres of trees that were killed. And that 2015 crop, that next year's crop was really low in many of the area orchards. However, what interestingly enough on our farm, we actually picked 110%. So we picked 10% more cherries in 2015 than we did in 2014. So the average orchard in our area had, I'm just going to say uh, roughly half to three quarters of a crop. On our farm, we actually picked more, more cherries. And what I like in that too is that our trees going into that freeze had, had complete nutrition as best as we could accomplish that in those buds that were going into that freeze. And they survived much better, in my opinion, than buds that were being managed under a conventional, uh, traditional nutrition program. And I have evidence of that here on our farm because it, in 2014, we were actually still doing evaluations of the AEA approach and of post-harvest nutrition. And so I had orchards that were side by side where the AEA managed orchard had no freeze damage at all, but the orchard right next to it that was I was managing under the uh, traditional program that we followed here on our farm that orchard completely was wiped out and had to be removed. After that 2014 freeze, the, the orchard industry in our area suffered because of it. But what it taught me is that the resilience of these trees when they have complete nutrition mm -hmm. is really, really substantial, far, far more than what anybody would have imagined, including myself.